Hello friends, this is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. Hope all you are happy and healthy. So friends, today I'm here to discuss with you one of the interesting topic on our hair. Yes, you know we do a lot of things on our hair every day. We do comb our hair every day. Combing increases the blood circulation, it gives our scalp a healthy touch and we get shiny hair out of it. It is used to detangle our hair also. So, combing is a must do everyday activity. So, have you ever thought the comb or the brush that you are using for your hair is suitable for your hair type or not? Have you ever thought? So, here I am going to give you the best answer for this as well as I am going to give you the pros of using wooden comb over a plastic comb so that it will help you to regrow your hair out. So let's get started. The first brush in our list is a paddle. Paddle is the most versatile kind of brush and you can use it if you have a long and thick hair. It can manage your lot of hair all at once. It has it has you know, manufactured in that way that for thick hair it can manage all the hair if you have a thin hair so don't use this comb or if you are suffering from hair fall problem so at that time also you should not use this comb the second type of comb is wild tooth comb this comb has a large gaps in between the tooth so this comb is the best suitable for weight hair without causing any damage yes Generally, you should not use any comb on a weight hair, but if you want to use, then this is the best comb for weight hair. As well as, if you have a frizzy hair, then this is the best comb for you. And personally, I prefer this comb, as this comb is suitable for all the hair types, mainly. Because this is the best comb which increases the blood circulation. The third type is fine tooth comb. Yes, this fine tooth comb is mainly used to make the partition in your hair properly. This is mainly used by professional and if you are a person which goes for every nice hairstyle um, or every other day then you can use this one to parton your hair properly and this is for the person who have a thick hair or thin hair. It can be used on both the hairs. The fourth type is a thermal. Yes, this thermal is used to make your hair curl or smooth your hair fast. It can be used with a dryer. This is the most perfect brush to use for your curling and hair styling purpose. So, this is also mainly used by professionals. The next type is bold bristled. Yes, this bold bristled brush is very gentle and it redistributes the oil throughout your hair bringing out the natural shine. And this hair brush is totally fine for normal to uh, somewhat frizzy hair. The next type is skinny round. Yes, this skinny round brush is mainly for short hair, the bangs or the short hair. This calms down your hair while drying. This calms down a lot of it as well as it manages the short tresses of your hair. So. If you have a bob or short hair, go for the skinny round brush. The next type is a large round. This large round brush is mainly used by professionals or in home you can use. Like if you want to curl your hair or straight your hair while blow drying. So this is the best suitable brush while blow drying. While blow drying you can curl your hair in a very nice way if you use this brush. So and this brush is mainly used to create a volume on your hair. The large curls and the small curls, it makes your hair looks bulky. The next type of brush is a half radial. Half radial is somewhat similar to the previous type that we have seen and if you have a short and bob hair, the mainly half radial brush is used. It is easily used on short hair to curve it up. So the next type of brush is vented. This brush is mainly used by professionals while blow drying because in blow drying this brush gives ample amount of air flow because there is a large gap between the nice uh, small tooth so the ample amount of air will be provided to your hair. These are the all types of brushes and combs that we use. 
I will recommend you to preferably use white tooth comb for most of the hair types. If you are a type of person who regularly use heating tools on your hair, so wooden comb is best for you in that case. Wooden comb is a bad conductor of electricity, so it gives cooling effect to your scalp. So the heat factor of your heating tools, such as ironing or curling your hair, the heat factor get dominated by the cooling effect of your wooden comb. So indirectly, it is helping your scalp to be healthy. And wooden comb generally normalizes the oil production on your scalp, so that the natural oil get distributed all your scalp evenly. So this will help you to regrow your hair as the main criteria behind regrowing your hair is to increase the blood circulation and natural oil flow on your scalp. So wooden comb is indirectly helping you to do that. And secondly, wooden comb does not produce static electricity like plastic comb. You must have experienced this in while combing by plastic comb, you can realize that uh, sometimes the static electricity get produced in your hair gets stand like this. So this never get created by wooden comb. This static electricity is not good for your scalp. So it can break or cause damage to your hair. And if you compare plastic, metal and wooden comb, plastic and metal comb are generally harsh on your scalp. And the main natural oil distributing property of wooden comb is the best way in which it helps our scalp to get rid of infection or any dandruff present. So indirectly, it makes your scalp clean. And if your scalp is clean, then the hair regrowth mechanism will get faster. So this is the flow by which wooden comb helps your scalp to regrow your hair fast. So if you compare metal wooden and plastic comb, then you should use wooden comb on your hair for hair regrowth mechanism. So friends, this is all the reasons and all the information about combing. So if you liked my video, subscribe it, share it and if you face any problem, comment me in the messages. So I will wait for your reply and till then, bye bye. I will meet you in the next video with new interesting information.